All right, so coming up this afternoon, it is the TLC pay-per-view. You have six matches thus far. I'm sure another match will be announced at some point today on social media since we don't have a pre-show match here technically. But we have two TLC matches, Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles and Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. We have a Firefly Inferno match where The Fiend will face Randy Orton and I guess, I mean, someone gets burned. Is that the deal? I just think it's a, I, I just figured it's a ring surrounded by fire match. They've had but we they they they've done that before. Those matches usually are really bad. Um but they the, the visual looks good. But you really, you know, what can you do in those matches? You I can't. just feel that they put the word firefly there and so I just have this feeling that there's going to be like a cinematic match with fire. Okay, whatever. I mean, you may be right. It would be nice if they I told know. us. I mean, the show's I, today. I, they haven't explained it. They didn't. They didn't say a word about it last night. We had Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler versus Asuka, and whoever her partner is going to be for the tag team titles. Yeah. Sasha and Carmella, and the New Day versus the Hurt Business. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of talk that it's Charlotte Flair. All I know when it comes to Charlotte Flair is I've asked around about her, and everyone's like been real quiet, which made me think that she's coming. It sounds back like it's soon. Charlotte. Yeah, and there's a good chance of that. So, um, it's show. I mean, it's it's weird because it's like WWE has gone so like every show is just gimmick matches. You know, like the main events are just gimmick matches because I think that they. It's just what it is. It's we. You know, it's it's like. Um, but I mean, it's it's probably going to be a good show. I think. Um, I think Drew McIntyre and AJ should be really good. But, you know, it's like AJ's 43 and putting him in a ladder match. I mean, it's like, I know he did the one with, um, didn't he do, didn't he do a ladder match just a couple months ago with Jeff Hardy and Sami Zayn? Uh, I know there was Sami Zayn, Jeff Hardy, and I think it was AJ, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. You know, putting guys that age in, given the demands of what people expect from a ladder match, that's tough. Um, especially since Drew and AJ would ha- would have a really good normal match, and I'm sure they're going to have a good match. Um, so I mean, th- in that sense, that'll be good. And then um, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens should be really good as well. Um, it's we what a weird build up though. Oh Every- my god! It's if like, you guys it's didn't like- see SmackDown, I'm going to tell you what happened. The show opens with Roman Reigns and Jey Uso beating up Kevin Owens. Jey Uso then beats him up again in a backstage segment. He then beats him up again in a backstage segment. And this leads to the main event of the show where Kevin Owens comes out and they beat him up again. Like, if you don't know any better, you figure that Kevin Owens has to be winning this title. I, but I don't expect that at all. I mean, I don't expect it, but like, I watched that show and I thought, how in the world... I mean, he's got nothing on Roman ever. He didn't get anything last week. No one, no one ever gets anything on Roman. That's the new deal. Uh, who, the thing is, like, if there was like some super baby face that they were building Roman for, you know, like Roman used to be, with the, how they build Brock Lesnar up every year for Roman, it'd be one thing. And I suppose maybe, maybe it's Drew, but they've had other ideas for Drew as well. I mean, you know, uh, but the thing is, is it's like it's like it, it's. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense because if there's the super baby face that they're building him for, it would make sense. But it's like they don't even have like like with with Kevin Owens this month. Um, you know, it, it's not like they had planned. I mean, you can look at how Kevin Owens had been booked, and you could see that there was no plan for Kevin Owens. The problem was is that they had no they have no baby faces on that side. They got Kevin Owens big. Yeah, I wonder why. Because they don't book baby faces i mean they don't they don't make new baby faces and they don't yeah but you know get, what they didn't have a baby face ready and so they decide it's going to be kevin owens and then they right. spent the whole month making sure he didn't get over the baby face well in their minds in their minds that's how you get a baby face over which is one of the reasons why they don't get any baby faces over Dave, let me ask you a serious question yes do they know that they don't have any baby faces over um, clearly, because because um, they threw Kevin Owens in this match with no planning. I mean, but no, I can't, I can't say. I, wait, let me take it back. I can't say. Well, I, I'm sure they think that Drew McIntyre's over. Okay, but I mean, other than that, I mean, do they think that they got like a bunch of hot baby faces? 
Uh, I don't think so because the people who I talk to there um, never bring up anything about any hot baby faces. Okay, so, so no. they do this shitty booking for every single baby face every no, single time, and they no have no baby faces, and nobody can figure out that maybe there's a correlation here. You're talking to like I mean it, it's mind boggling. Hey, look on that when I was watching SmackDown, I was absolutely dumbfounded by that Bailey um, Bianca Belair finish. I mean, to, I I have no. I mean, I could not in in my wildest. Um, I, I'm sure that they have their thing. Oh well, she'll get it back later, and maybe she will, or maybe she won't. But that was like, what a what a stupid finish! Not only was complete... the finish stupid, but Bailey's coming off nine straight losses, including tapping out to Bailey in three minutes, clean in the middle to, of the to, ring to Natty Natalia Natty. Yeah, and now she goes in there and she beats Bianca with some move after allegedly raking her eyes. I mean, y what? I know. I know. Look, their booking is terrible. I mean, it's, it's really hor horrific. Yeah, it's it, it it is the worst booking in all of wrestling. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. Um, and it's not getting better. And um, you know, they're just lucky that they're the name brand because, you know, for the name brand, boy, you know, they're not they're, I don't know. I, uh, it's, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the whole thing is, is like, that's how they think they're getting, uh, baby faces over. And, and that's, and there are no baby faces over. And what can I say? I mean, it's like, it's like, it's, 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 it is mind boggling. It really is, especially, especially for, for Vince McMahon, who actually was very good at getting baby faces over for, for decades. And now goes against everything that he ever did before, and it's working far worse than ever before. And one would think that he would just sit there and go like, you know, but but I don't I don't you know I, I I'm I'm completely at a loss. I mean I watch the show, and I mean I've been at a loss for a long long time. But sometimes it was like, at you know before I kind of knew in the sense of there were people trying to get people over, but then Vince would like you know fuck with them and and so nobody would get over and i guess that's i guess that's still going on but it's like now he's just like fucking with himself now who's he fucking with Dude, you got me there was one good match on the show it was street profits versus ziggler and rude yeah that was nice and that was like it it's the only thing of value on the show i guess i i thought that the um sammy zane segment was really goofy i didn't like it at all it was so dumb so the story is that Sami Zayn is going to do the sammy awards and so he goes out to do them and biggie shows up and he messes with the the papers or whatever so sammy goes out there and he is given the awards and he says the comeback of the year goes to Sami Zayn, and he gives it to himself and he blah 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 he says the match of the year three-way ladder match which actually was a pretty good choice for wwe match of the year it says the superstar of the year, Big E. What? Boy, and I'm like, bad. it's your fucking thing, dude. You didn't have to read Big E's name, but of course he did. And Big E comes out and beats him up, and it was so goofy. Yeah. And it did not make me want to watch the Slammies. Oh yeah, I know. Um, I thought the Carmella thing was really bad too. Terrible. Just went on for an eternity. Way too long. Way too long. Get yeah. the heat and until people are sick of the person and then go like five more minutes. Then they for sure cheer when Sasha comes out, but it was insufferable. And then same thing as last week. So they repeated the same angle. She broke a bottle over her. Yep. Don't care about that match. I don't know if there's anything that would have made me care too much about that match for whatever reason. Um, well, the build's been terrible. That's the reason. I'm just not... I'm not in... I'm like... To me, like Sasha Banks, part of the deal with Sasha Banks is is that is that she has really good matches, and and I suppose she might have a good match with Carmella. But on paper, when I look at it, it's not a match where I'm looking at it going like, oh, I can't wait to see this match. Dude, we saw the match last week. It was there at best. It was just there. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was just there, and they had ten minutes. It wasn't like it was a two minute match where we needed to see no more. We had, they 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 did a regular match, and it was just like an average match. Um, I don't, you know, I don't expect them to be stealing the show, but um, yeah, I mean the um, the latter match should be good. Orton and and the Fiend, it, whatever it is, who who the hell knows? Um, the New Day and Cedric and Shelton Benjamin's fine. It'll be good, and um, 
what else? So no, uh, so the the Lashley match is probably for Roy, with Matt Riddle's probably for Royal Rumble. That was the last that I heard. Um, so they, so they could you know they may add it to the show today for all I know. But Vince uh, is going to keep this one in his back pocket for another five weeks. I guess so. Or he could change his mind and put it on TV. I would bet you anything it's going to be a TV match. Yeah, and then um, Sami Zayn and Big E could be added, but you know they did the, they did the angle last night, so they you know I could see that one being added, or that'll come up. They could still do the um, Street Profits and Rudin Ziggler because they gave you kind of an out for that finish with um, you know the the, tr- the guy um, Montez Ford using trunks for the win, and um, yeah, that was. Uh, that's the card. I mean, it's a card. I don't feel great excitement for the card at all. Um, but as far as the wrestling matches go, it it should be good. Uh, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine it will be. It will touch the Ring of Honor card though from Friday. That show was really good, um, and they did it with no fans, which is very very hard. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.